end of the day, almost time for the bell. How many options will you sell? Fire up your platform, get ready to enter. But first, let's get the mindset centered. Hey, hey, let's go. We're not here to gamble, we're here to trade. We follow the plan, that's how we get paid. Testing, trading, have success. Find what works for you and forget the rest. Stats and probabilities is what we're about. Time to dismiss greed and doubt. Focus on the process, not the money. And the profits will flow like honey. Power our live, let's start the show. Come on, trade hackers, get ready to go. Zero day options, time to make bank. Get locked and loaded, then be ready to plank. Hey! What's up, everyone? Welcome to Power Hour Live on December 5th. Hope all is well. Got some low premiums to deal with here in Power Hour. Around six bucks for the at the money straddle. So I'm going to do the same thing I did yesterday, just tiny position size. So with that, let me, I'm going to adjust my bots here. Tranche one normal day. I'll do two. Tranche two normal day. Do three. Charge three normal day. I'll do one. All right. Bots are locked and loaded for some low premium, baby. Everything else is going good today. Had a JSPs right out of the gate, hit 50% for about 1600. My AM ratio, basically a scratch plus 80 bucks. I had a re-entry that hit 90%. The other half hit 50. Quiet lunch hit 50%. And I'm in a PM iron condor that's currently up 43%. And my profit target on that one's 50. So my uh, bot profits today, a little, little over 9,700 so far. Hopefully Power Hour can take us home, add a little bit to it. Instead of taking it away like it did yesterday. Yeah, tranche one will definitely go inverted here. Got about a minute before tranche one kicks in. My PM iron condor, if it can get a little tiny push higher, should hit 50% here pretty soon. It's currently at 44%. I turned on my re-entries right after I got closed out on my AM Iron Condor. Just took one, one tranche. Just got out of my, my last one just hit 90% just a couple minutes ago. Tranche one filled at 845. Inverted on the 6570s.
65, 70 is at 20, 80. You must be doing a ratio, Chris. Gotcha. My six seven's about ready to hit 20%. I've got an or I put, posted in the calendar channel. I've got an order at 785 to close half. That looks to be hitting pretty soon here. Looks like it might be about five cents away. Also added a one three earlier today. That one's up a couple percent. Added a two four, or not today. I have a two four. It's up about seven percent. And then my three four from yesterday is up about four percent. Added a new time fly today. With the uh, diagonal and the fly at time of entry. Just got filled on my 6 7. That's 785 for 20%, closed half. Six, seven. Just posted that in the calendar channel. Elliot, real time data feed for stock prices in Bitcoin. Not, I mean, trading view. Are you looking for, if you say Bloomberg, I assume maybe you're not talking about charting. Oh yeah, trading view is real time, free. If you don't want uh, any of the bells and whistles. Yep, it's got a, it's got an API. Speaking of Bitcoin, that was the only futures trade I took today. It's good for a little over 2K. Got in pre-market about 40 minutes before the market opened and rode it all the way up. Applied volatility and gold coming in a little bit. Not quite back to even on our gold strangle, but it's calmed down a bit. No decay yet. That's, that's part of the problem with going inverted as well. You're in the money. 
So the decay doesn't happen quite as fast. Uh, trading naked, it's 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 really just price action. I'm I'm in the process of kind of putting together notes, and I'll be recording some videos, or made it, it may end up being a full class on on what I'm doing. But I'm the law, high level overview is I'm just looking at the daily charts looking for price action that I think there's a high probability chance that it's that I you know I think it's either going up or down then I go down to the five minute chart find an entry I try to put my stop at a place where if it goes there that means my thesis was wrong and then I just try to manage it sometimes I'll scale in and out but you know like today I just kind of let it road let it ride And a V slap. Today was V pop. If it's going up, it's V pop. If I'm shorting it, it's V slap. Uh, Mauro, what you would have to do is just set up an extra bot to go at the money. And then right before power hour, you'd have to flip that one on. And then you could have the bot manage it that way. But just as it is, um, just searching, you know, searching for the closest to a certain amount of premium, then it it won't, you can't have it do a straddle instead of going inverted automatically. Yeah, iron condor at 46 percent i knew that to just sit here for another few minutes to hit my 50 percent yep exactly moral I hope Option Omega comes out with their uh, auto trading. That would be pretty cool. They would definitely have all the filters exactly like they have it in OO. Flip the switch. Matt and Rusty, if you're listening, that's what we want. Yeah, I think both of those are going to happen. Then we'll have some choices. Yeah, I don't get the whole no filters thing. That kind of, I mean, what does that do for you? Well, Option Alpha does not have, they don't allow trading on SPX for whatever reason. So that's a automatic no-go on that one. I assume they will. I don't know what, why or what the holdup would be on that front, but. <laughs> Those are made up indicators of mine trading naked. Those are just in my head.
Those are Dick Dick K's favorite two indicators. Yeah, option omega is not not close, but they are exploring it. All right, Beta, Beta, come in. Where are you? Forty eight percent. Need a couple more. Couple more shekels. My PM iron condor will be bounced. Mara, what'd you think of the, did you watch the little video with that new time fly alert? What'd you think about that or anybody? Wish I would have had that structure in that big rally from here to here. That would have been a lot better than what we experienced. Yeah, sure would have been. Yeah, it was posted earlier today, PT. And there goes my PM iron condor hit 50%. She gone. Now it's all power hour. Yeah, we just, for that December 8 one. We need just a little down move. We, def we definitely just need price to stay here or move lower. Preferably move lower.
few minutes until tranche two. Yeah, exactly, Mara. VIX down about 1%, hovering right under 13. S&P is pretty much unchanged now. NASDAQ slightly green. Russell's down over 1%. So it's been the strongest, showing a little weakness today. Gold, flat, silver down 1.5%. Big move up in bonds again. 10-year yield down 2.5%, 10-year yield under 4.2. Look at that. Pushed above 5 in early October or mid-October. Back down to 4.177. Oil continues lower. Natty gas was up earlier, now down, now up only about 1%. Euro and the pound a little bit red. Bitcoin up another 4.5%. Tranche 2 looks like it'll be the 70 straddle. Should start trying to get filled right about now. Yep, 70 straddle. Filled at 485. So tranche one, I'm looking for 505 to reduce my stop. Tranche two, I'm looking for 290, which for a straddle to get to 290, we're going to be getting close to the end. We have a, a nice calm market on close and balance today.
for tomorrow. Tomorrow is Wednesday, December 6th. We've got ADP non-farm employment change pre-market. And that's about it. Uh oh, Chris said the VIX is getting ready to go up. Is, Chris, is that your crystal ball? The crystal ball. <laughs> the crystal ball. I like it. That might stick. I mean, if you keep saying the market's going to crash, then eventually you're going to be right, Krish. Even a clock's right twice a day, you know? You Then you can call yourself an economist. You might even get on CNBC. All right. What else we got going today? Did you guys do anything else fun today? We had an expected move of plus or minus about 20 today. And about a 26 point range. By the way, did, did you guys see my question to Trade Steward in the Trade Steward channel? If any of you all trade the JSPs like I do. My question was, so here's the here's the first five minute bar in SPX. SPX opened at 57.25. The high of this bar was 57.39, which would not qualify for the JSPs triggering because it's got to move up 0.05% above the open. But my JSPs did get triggered in Trade Steward. And so what, what he mentioned was that the opening price that they have to use is about five seconds after the real SPX open. And so that's why it got triggered. FYI. Uh, Dark Avenger, the future's trading. It's not, it's definitely not going to be alerts. It's just, I mean, there's a lot of discretion to it. So it's, you know, it's just not something. Plus it's, you know, there's a lot of times where I'm scaling in and out. It's just not something I have the capacity or really the desire to do. But I'm going to I'm gonna teach you exactly the way that I kind of think about it. And then, um, you know, maybe what I'll do is in my morning positions and updates, because that's typically when I'm looking at them, I usually put that out and then I start looking at the futures and, deciding if there's a potential opportunity and um and so maybe I'll post there as far as kind of the you know a lot of times it's one or two symbols that I'm looking at so 
kind of post there and give you a heads up of kind of what I'm what I'm eyeballing. Uh, yeah, Cosmo for me, the tranche three for a normal day like today is a two to one. Yep. Dead Sember. I'm not familiar with that, Meech. Tell me more. Ooh. All right, maybe I'll get on that train with you. Got some got some dumbbells I can bring bring from the house to the office. Mix that in with my push-ups and pull-ups. And then what's January? Don't tell me dry January. <laughs> you can do deadlifts with uh, dumbbells. My teeth hurt. What ratio do you do? <laughs> I've got the, uh, well, let's see. I think they go up to, it's the ones that adjust the weight. I think they go up to like, I want to say like 90 pounds each. Tranche two in two minutes. Excuse me, tranche three in two minutes. Yeah, I mean, I know it's not okay for you, Meech. I'm just, you know, I'm not, I'm not at Meech's level. Day one tug life. <laughs> I like this. Is that on a uh, Twitter or Instagram? Where do you get that? Nice. I'll check it out. Oh, yeah, you're not messing around. I'm done lifting heavy. I'm just, you know, I'm getting old. I'm not a young spry chicken like you, Meech. I like I like lifting, but I just I don't like being sore every day, you know. When I lift, I just I'm constantly sore. When I was working with a personal trainer for about a year, it's like every single day I'm sore. Like I don't I don't really like that. Not anymore, anyway. All right, here comes tranche three. Build at six sixty five. And that's on the seventy straddle. I mean, the soreness definitely <clears throat> lessens as you go on, but there's also muscles that 
even if you're consistently working out, there's always muscles you're not working. And so there's always a way to get, get sore. At least that's what happened to me. I could never, never manage to go without being sore there for a while. Or I could go down in my office gym, my condo gym here, do some deadlifts. I got plenty of weight down there. SPX hanging around 60, 45, 69, 70 is the sweet spot. I don't like quiet lunch and deadlifts. It's a good combo. Good combo. My excuse for uh, not working out as consistently is zero DTE. It's like once I started trading zero DTE, I felt like I had to be in front of my screen more. I, you know, made the excuse to myself. I can't, I can't leave the screen to go work out because of this position. You know, there's, there's always a good excuse in there somewhere. But trade steward gets trailing stops that I may be out of excuses. What time is it there tomorrow? Opens at 3 30 PM. So it's almost 10 p.m. there, huh? 9.30, huh? That would be interesting. That would be an interesting dynamic. Uh, I just I just check it every so often, Chris. Usually, I mean, if it's moved a buck is kind of what I've been doing, a buck or more. I just trail it at even dollar amounts. So I see it's moved a buck in my favor. I, I'll move it down a buck. No, the reality is, Meech, I don't have an excuse, but that's been my internal subconscious mental excuse. But I'm getting back on the train. I'm working through my working through my laziness that I got myself into.
Yeah, I played around with that a little bit, Dick K. Definitely found some that did better, but some did not that I still trade. But that is uh, that is nice. I need to dig a little deeper on some of those. All right, so we got tranche one is up about 15%. Tranche two is up about 18%. Tranche three is up about 5% so far. I need 40% on tranche one and two to reduce my stop. Uh, I got filled on mine at 785, Krish. I already posted it. Closed half of mine. I'll close the remaining half tomorrow morning. I'm not sure if you have the same strikes or not, but... <clears throat> I'm on the 50s, 45, 50s, and 4630. The only one that hasn't performed for me all year is really the TGIF. Most of the back test ones have been very consistent all year. I just sized up my double calendars for December. I just think in this low, low vol environment, every little, every little push and volatility will help them. I guess I should say I just added, I added more, more exposure. So my size didn't necessarily change that much. I just, you know, like on the six seven. Usually if I did a six, seven on Friday, I wouldn't add the three, four on Monday because it's the same cycle, but I did both. Doing some more, more overlapping ones where I used to be a little bit more selective. Price still above 68. It's been kind of chopping between 68 and 70. Early market on closing balance, 100, 197 <laughs> 197,000,000 million sell side. What do you got there? Four five on a Friday. Fifteen delta. Oh, it's a diagonal. Nice. Some serious consistency going on there.
I like it. Dig into that a little bit more. I might add that to my Friday repertoire. All right, there we go. Just had to get that on my sheet. <clears throat> my next month trade plan. Things to look at. Uh, discount, I don't have a minimum CAGR. I just look at all the metrics and decide if I don't, I don't have a minimum for anything. I just look at them all and decide if it's a good fit. And I usually kind of trade it for a little bit, see if I want to permanently add it and then go from there. I would say I definitely give the most importance to CAGR. So far, so good. Tranche one's up 22%. Tranche, tranche one's up 22%. Tranche two's up 23%. Tranche three is slightly green. We do. December 13th. So that's next week, next Wednesday. Jerome and his pals hit the stand. We've also got CPI on Tuesday. And PPI Wednesday morning. CPI pre-market Tuesday, PPI pre-market Wednesday, FOMC Wednesday afternoon. Followed up by retail sales and unemployment on Wednesday, Thursday. A lot of red, a lot of red on the calendar next week.
Less than 19 minutes till the bell. No, I use the same closing rules. I don't do profit targets in power hour, Kelvin. Come on. Profit targets are for people like Krish. All right, let's just stick it out right here, boys and girls. Don't see any upcoming bond auctions. There's a four week bill auction on Friday. Uh, Bumblebee, there's not really much information about inverted. It just means that the puts are higher strike than the calls. So when you get low premiums, you know, with power hour, Obviously, towards the end of the day, premiums are dwindling anyway. And with low, with low IV where the premiums are small, you know, if we, we have a specific premium that we're targeting for each tranche on each side, and we call it inverted when the puts are a higher strike than the calls on that specific premium that we're targeting. We'll push down around 65. But did you have a 65 straddle tomorrow? Nice. And down below 65.
Tranche two is trading at 530. My stop's at 785. Tranche three is trading at 1020. Stop's at 1265. Tranche one is still up 20%. But I'm going to need a little bounce help here. Hey, Jose, do me a favor because I don't monitor the Zoom chat. I just saw it pop up. Um, all the posting and stuff is in the Zero Live chat channel in Discord. To answer your question, uh, where could I get the link to know how to do a stop loss and profit taking order and toss? Yeah, so check out the Zero DTE course channel and you'll see the uh, the toss templates. Um, if you're if you're if the toss templates is a, is a little bit too much for you, if you're just looking for basics, like how do I set a limit order? How do I set a stop? I would go to the learning center on Thinkorswim's website. I think it's TLC for the learning center, tlc.thinkorswim.com. There's all kinds of uh, videos on kind of the basic orders that you can do on it. <laughs> mm -hmm. Who knew Tim was a trainer now, too? Well, that's what he's doing when he's not back testing. Ooh, look at this bounce coming in. Are we getting, we're getting ready for the final market on close and balance number. First three were 197 million sell side. Let's see where the final number comes in in about 90 seconds. Meet your little vocal today. Did they, would, would they, they let you out of your cage today? What happened? You just fired up from all the deadlifts. <laughs> it's good. And the final market on close imbalance number is two billion sell side. So another couple billion plus. Not much of a reaction. Tranche one is now up 30%. Tranche two is up 30%. Might actually get to reduce a stop here if we get a little bit more of a bounce.
So tranche one, I'll reduce down to 805. So that'd be minus 35, minus 40, excuse me, minus 0. 0.40. Tranche two, I would be reducing to 490. So that'd be plus 05. Looking for 505 on tranche one and 290 on tranche two. Going to need a little bounce. Started to, coming back down. Now it's below 65. Here we go. Pop back up. Six minutes to go. Getting close to exit time. If we can get a little bounce here in the next minute. I will be starting to close once we hit five minutes till. I prefer a little bounce first. That's not the right way. All right, so I'm going to start with tranche one. There's a little bounce. Filled at 6.05 for tranche one. So that'll be a little winner. Open for another little bounce, maybe. Closing tranche number two. Build at 545. That'll be a small loss. Tranche three, unless we get a bounce, is going to be a little loss as well. I'll give it a minute. See if it wants to do something nice for me today.
We'll bounce above 66. No, not going to do it, huh? All right. I'm going to close tranche three. No fill yet. Filled at 1055. So here's how I ended up. So plus 480 for tranche one, minus 180 for tranche two, minus 390 for tranche three. So net, net down a couple, what is that, a couple hundred bucks? So another kind of meh power hour. But again, the rest of the day was awesome. No losers on the rest of the day. So zero DTE plus 10,110 for the day. All right, my friends. So tomorrow is, what is tomorrow? Tomorrow is Wednesday the 6th. Chad will be streaming in the market open. And I will be back for power hour. All right, all. Have a good evening. Talk to you soon.